Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me today with our yoga practice. And let's start out with a mudra. And mudras are good to help um, your energy flow through your body. So this particular mudra is going to help you with, um, con with concentration. At least this is what they say. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our thumb and touch it to the tip of our ring finger. And then your other fingers are just going to spread open and you're going to rest your hands, the back of your hands on your thighs. And make sure that you're comfortable in your chair, maybe rack a little bit to make sure you feel like you're seated firmly on both sit bones. And start to deepen your breath. See if you can get your inhales and exhales to match in length. And when I say deepen your breath, maybe try to extend it. Let's, if you can inhale for a count of one, two, three, four, and exhale. One, two, three, four. And keep that up. Find the right pace for you. Some people may say, oh, four is too, too much. I can only do three. And some people may say, hey, I'm going to do six. But just find that right pace so that your inhales and exhales match. And if you can, close your eyes if you're comfortable. If not, you can leave your eyes open. I want you to focus on your feet and notice any sensation you have in your feet. Do they, they may have pins and needles. You may or may not feel the floor. You might just feel the weight of your legs on, on your feet. And then notice your calves. Perhaps if you have shorts on, you feel the temperature of the air in the room. If you're wearing clothes, maybe you feel the texture of the clothes or where they're touching your calf. Then come up to your thighs. And notice your thighs, the thighs are resting against the chair, the weight of your arms against your thighs, perhaps the texture of the fabric. Notice the front of your body. Pay attention to the rise and fall of your chest and belly as you inhale and you exhale. And see if you can sense your ribs expanding against the back of your shirt when you inhale and exhale. Notice your arms, the temperature of the room, your shoulders, your face, and even the crown of your head. And breathe. And then let's release that mudra. Scoot a little bit forward on your chair and let's just widen our legs a little bit to make a wide base because we're going to circle in our chair to start to loosen up our back. So I want you to think about keeping your torso tall so your core is engaged, your back is straight. You're gonna lean over to the right, circle forward, keeping your back straight, we're not rounding in. And then leaning back because you should have a little bit of room in your chair, but you're keeping that back straight that core is engaged, big movements. Notice as the weight transfers from hip to hip. And then come back to center and then let's circle in the other direction. And if you do have discomfort, try different ways. Don't maybe don't go as deep when you come forward. Don't go as far back. Or maybe just try engaging your core more, tipping your tailbone. And then come back to center. Now, maybe widen your legs just a tiny bit more. And we're gonna take, leave your left hand on your left thigh. You're gonna take your right hand out to the side. You're gonna make a 
a fist, but you're going to make a yoga fist. So your thumbs on the inside and you gently wrap your fingers around to the, around your thumb and you're going to push right towards the left foot. And we'll hold this for a few breaths. And then you're going to come back up following your hand. You're going to go to the right and really stretch your fingers out and look towards the right. So there's a little bit of lean here. Let me hold that for a few breaths. Then make that yoga fist again, come back, press down through the earth <clears throat> and breathe. Notice any stretching you feel maybe in your inner thighs. Tummy's engaged, you come back up, you watch that hand as you lean off to the right, stretch your fingers open like you're throwing confetti. Come back to center, make that yoga fist, come back down to the earth. Breathe. Come back up. Reach that hand out to the right. Really extend those fingers. And then come back to center. And then let's switch sides. So right hand is on your right thigh. Left hand goes out to the side. You make that yoga fist. Your thumb is on the inside of your palm and you loosely wrap your fingers around. Then you're going to press your hand towards the right foot, towards the earth. You might feel a stretch on the side of your, right through your bit lower back here, maybe on the side, maybe in your inner thighs. And then come back up, watch that hand as you reach it out to the left, make those fingers sparkle. And breathe. Come back to center, make that yoga fist, reach down towards the earth. Make sure that you breathe when you're down here. Notice any sensations in your body. Come back up, follow that hand as you reach out. You're throwing that confetti. You're celebrating life. Bring that palm back in, make that yoga fist. Press down through the earth towards your foot. Breathe. Come back up, follow that hand as you throw that confetti. One more time, make that yoga fist, come down towards the earth. Watch that hand as you come back up, make that yoga fist lean off a little bit to the left. And bring your hand back to your knees. Now let's bring our arms up. So we're leaving our legs wide open and you're bringing your arms up into what we call it goal post, but we can have our fingers spread like jazz hands. We can have our fingers wide and we're gonna tip over to the right. You just go as low as is right for you. Think about pressing that left hip towards your chair. Come back up to center, tip to the left. Come back to center. Tip to the right. Come back to center. Tip to the left. Come back to center. Tip to the right. Come back to center. Tip to the left. Come back to center. Release your arms down. Let's, so we're gonna go toe. Heel, toe, heel, bring your feet in so that they are, oh, about hip distance apart. We're gonna take our hands and you're going to clasp your fingers so that your pointer fingers are pointing straight. So your hands are clasped and your pointer fingers are pointing straight. With straight arms, you're gonna turn to the left. Work at keeping both arms straight, sitting tall. You can see my torso is erect. I'm not leaning off. I'm trying to stay upright. Come back to center and then off to the right. Breathe. Come back to center. We're gonna go off to the left again. 
back to center, off to the right. One more time, back to center, off to the left. Come back to center, off to the right. Come back to center, release your arms down. Now let's circle our shoulders. We created probably a little tension there with keeping our arms up. So let's circle them towards the front. And then circle towards the back. And come back to center. And to energize our practice a little bit, and do a little voice work. We're gonna do the uh, breath of joy. So breath of joy as you go, inhale, it's a little sniff through your nose, inhale, inhale, and then go ha. So that's inhale, 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 ha. So try it with me now. So we're in, it's a little sniff, it's like sniff, 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 and then ha. So inhale, 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 ha! Inhale, 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 ha! Inhale, 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 ha! One more time, inhale, 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 ha! And come back to center. That's one, it's kind of a nice one. <clears throat> it helps you smile. You can see why it's called the breath of joy. It does bring a little joy into your life. You might laugh at how you feel like you may look, but it's a, it's a good thing to do for ourselves. So let's take our right leg forward. If you have a strap and you find it's difficult to keep your foot flexed, you can use that strap around your foot. But we're gonna work on uh, stretching the back of our hamstring. So we're gonna get really tall through our torso. Again, you're trying to keep a flat back. So when I hinge forward, I'm hinging with a flat back till I find that perfect stretch for me. Once I find that perfect stretch, then I'll let myself round in and relax. Maybe rest my elbows on my bent knee to help me support myself and then breathe. If you're really flexible, you can reach your toes and go for it, or you can reach your fat calf. That's a good place to put it, but I want you to have your hands grounded somewhere. And we'll hold this for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Using your hands against your bent knee, press yourself back up to seated. And then you're gonna take this right, right leg out about 15 degrees from where you were. So you have a little bit of opening here. And you may have to shift off to the side a little bit if you find that's uncomfortable in that leg, you might have to bring that hip over a little bit, but find that right position so that you feel comfortable, but you wanna feel stable in your chair. So now we're gonna get really tall. We're gonna to turn towards this leg. You may, if you don't feel stable, hang into this chair and reach forward. So take your right hand and just ground it wherever you can touch on the straight leg. If you're using a strap, that right hand might be holding your strap, but the left hand can be on the chair to keep you stable. And again, when you're leaning forward, first it's with a flat back and then you ground in once you find that perfect stretch. And we'll hold it for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. On your inhale, bring yourself back up to seated. And then we're going to just open, go us off to the side as wide as you can. You know, some people may say 15 is as wide as I can go. Others will say, oh, I can go, you know, 45. So just find that right position for you. And you're going to get really tall, arms out to the side, and you're going to reach down towards this right leg. So I'm resting my right hand on the inside of my right calf, 
You might be up here. You go wherever is right for you. You're not folding forward, though. You're going sideways. So you're not going to go as deep as a forward fold. Then you can stretch that left arm overhead and breathe. And we won't hold this quite as long. This is a toughie. Inhale back up to center, but before you pull that leg in, you're gonna take your left hand to the side of your chair and then reach in the opposite direction. So you have a nice line from your right fingers to your right foot. And you might twinkle those fingers, really spread them, reach them, make them dance. Come back up to center, bring both hands down to the chair, draw that leg in, and then we're gonna switch sides. So now we're gonna go to the opposite leg. For me, that's my left leg. Good thing we have two of these. So if you started on a different leg, it won't really matter. You just go to the opposite leg. Again, if you need a strap, please make arrangements to use your strap to keep that foot flexed. You're gonna get really tall through your torso. Nice, big, deep inhale. Exhale with a flat back. You're folding forward till you feel that. Stretch along the back of your thigh, maybe into your glutes. You might feel it in your calf if that's where your tightest muscle is. And then let your hands ground down, whether it's on your bent knee or if you're reaching for the toes on your left leg or the straight leg or your ankle. But make sure your hands are grounded somewhere. And we'll hold it for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You can bring your hands to that bent knee with a flat back and engagement in your core. Press yourself back up to seated. And then let's take this leg over about 15 degrees. And again, you might find that you need to shift over a little bit on your chair. And that's fine if that is a bit more comfortable for you. Once you find that right position, hands to your hips, you're gonna turn towards that, that uh, straight leg and then you're folding forward. Now you're probably not gonna go as deep this way because it's a little bit of a twist. So once you find that position, you can let your hands ground down on your straight leg and breathe. Try to keep your foot flexed, but if you can't, it's all right. That foot can get lazy if you need it to, but if it's flexed, you might feel more of a, of a stretch in the back of your thigh. Now take a deep inhale with a flat back, bring yourself back up to seated, and then you're gonna open that leg as wide as you can go. And again, you're gonna bring your arms out to T. Take that left arm on the inside of that left leg, left foot flexed if you can. And then you can bring that right arm up overhead and really reach and stretch. Breathe in and out. Notice any sensations you have, make sure they're not painful, just a little bit of challenge. Then inhale back up to center. Take your right hand to the right side of your chair and you're gonna stretch that left arm overhead, make those Hands, those fingers twinkle as you have a, this beautiful stretch from the tip of your left fingers to the tip of your left toes. If you wanna try pointing your toe, you can, or you can keep it flexed. You decide where's that right spot for you. And breathe. Smile. Enjoy the pose, don't make it too hard on yourself. Come back up to seated, hang on to your chair just to bring that left leg in. And let's get seated balanced again. Now let's do some, um, these are actually really good, especially if you have lower back pain because a lot of times we get weakness in our, in our hips and in our lower back. So what we're gonna do are uh, pelvic tilts which if you go to PT, it's something you do, but it's something we do in yoga too, because many times that's part of the direction is to think about how do you tip your pelvis. So pelvic tilts is I'm leaning my hips back. So I'm right now I'm sitting on my hip bones, but then I'm gonna lean my hips back and then I'm gonna tip my uh, hip bones forward. So I'm tipping my hips back 
and hips forward. So see if you can do this 10 times. I'm not gonna count, I'm gonna let you do it in your own because some people may say 10 is too many. It, uh, it hurts my back, I can only do five. Don't hurt your back. If it's painful, don't go as deep. Don't make it as big a movement. If it's really painful, I want you to just focus on inhaling, holding that lower abdomen in, and then exhaling and letting it out. Because this is also, when you're doing this, you're trying to think about engagement in your lower abdomen. It's a subtle movement, but it's really good for helping to keep this area of your body strong. Do I give you a few more breaths in here so you can do a few more if you're finding this is working for you. And then come back to seated. Now let's walk in our chair. Now, if someone wanted to go to the floor, you could do this on the floor too, definitely. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk in our chair and this is going to help develop or strengthen your hips for walking. So you're gonna pick your left hip up and come forward, right hip up, come forward, left hip up, come forward, right hip up. And you only go as forward as you can on your chair. And then you do that same movement backwards. And I'm at the front of my chair, I'm lifting my hip up, I'm lifting my hip up, I'm lifting my hip up, I'm lifting my hip up. Do it again, forward. If you're on the floor and you're on a yoga mat, you obviously can go forward a lot further than we can in our chair. And then go back, so. Sometimes it's nice to use your hands to help propel you forward. It might feel like, oh yeah, this makes it a little easier. And then one more time, forward. And back. And then relax. And now let's um, work a little bit on our core. So we're gonna lift your right leg up as high as you can go, trying to keep your torso upright and then bring it down. Then lift your left leg up as high as you can go. Hold it there and then bring it down. Now let's add arms to this. We're gonna lift our right leg up and take your left arm up. You can have your fingers twinkle and dance up there. Bring your left leg or right leg down, left arm down. Now let's lift our left leg up, our right arm up. Twinkle those fingers, left leg down, right arm down. We're gonna switch sides again. Think about engaging that core when you do this. So I'm gonna engage my core, I'm lifting my right leg up, my left arm up, twinkle those fingers, right leg down, left arm down. We're gonna engage the core, left leg up, right arm up, left leg down, right arm down. And one more time, we're gonna do right leg up, left arm up, make those fingers dance, right leg down, left leg down. I'm sorry, left arm down. And then we'll switch one more time, left leg up, right arm up left leg down, right arm down. And then let's just bring our feet a little bit wider and then do some circles here because we've created a little bit of tension in our lower back. So let's just circle it out. Small circles this time, just to loosen things up. And bring your feet together. And let's, again, work a little bit on our core. So we're going to do chair pose. So in the chair, you, if you have a black, you can use the black. Sometimes the black is nice to help you feel more stable. You can put a block between your legs. 
if and that might make you feel more stable. If you don't have a block, that's okay. You just think about keeping your legs uh, tight together. Now, we're not necessarily going to lift up out of the chair. It's going to depend on your practice, if you're going to be safe. If you have a chair in front of you, that's really nice because that's something you can hang on to for stability. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to engage all of these muscles to um, give us that same benefit of of trying of standing up without actually standing up. <clears throat> because many times we think, oh, we have to do this full movement to get the full benefit of the pose, but you really don't. You just you need to think about engaging those muscles in your core, engaging those muscles in your thighs. So I what what I want you to do is I want you to think about grounding down so you're really pressing. I'm leaning forward right now, flat back and pressing into my feet. I'm really tightening my thighs. I'm pressing into my feet. I'm trying, not really gripping tight, but trying to grip the floor with my toes. I'm leaning my arms forward now, flat back. I'm rocking as if I'm gonna stand up. I'm tightening my core. I'm rocking a few times. Breathe, make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're tightening those muscles and then you come back and relax. So let's take a few breaths here before we try that again. So if you're really working on tightening all those muscles and pressing into the earth and rocking forward as if you're gonna stand up, you might find yourself getting even a little breathless because anytime you're making your muscles engage, those muscles are gonna cause your body to use more energy. <clears throat> so let's try that again. So again, you're squeezing the block. You're pressing into the earth with your feet. You're gripping not tight, but you're gripping the earth with your toes. You are tightening those thighs. You're squeezing or tightening your core, leaning those arms forward, flat back. You're rocking forward, maybe lifting up a millimeter or two. Make sure you're breathing while you're doing this rocking. Keep those muscles engaged and then come back and relax and breathe. And we'll take a few breaths here and we'll do that one more time. But this is something that um, we get up and down all the time in our daily, whatever we're doing around the house, but we don't really think about engaging muscles when they're doing this. But this is really a mindful way about thinking about getting up, getting up because you're really thinking about engaging all those muscles that you have. Most of the time people get hurt when they're doing things because they're, not thinking about engaging the muscles, they just move. But if you really are mindful about your movement and think about engaging those muscles and keeping yourself safe, you might find you can help protect yourself. So let's try that one more time. So again, you're squeezing the block. You're pressing your feet into the earth. You're trying to grip the earth with your toes. You're bringing your arms forward. You're tightening your core. You're rocking, lifting up perhaps a millimeter or two. If you can lift up a little higher, that's fine. But Safety is always first. A few more rocks. And then come back to center. Release your hand. And you can release that block. And breathe. <clears throat> and then let's open up our upper back a little bit. So we're going to take our, we can do eagle arms or you can give yourself a hug. So I'm gonna offer you eagle arms and that gives you opportunity to see if you can do it. But if you find that eagle arms is too difficult, you just give yourself a hug. But notice when you give yourself a hug, which arm is on top. So for eagle arms, let's start with our left arm out straight. We bend our right elbow. That right elbow goes into the left elbow. You bend both elbows and then you intertwine your hands. So this is eagle arms. If the eagle arms doesn't work, then you are hugging yourself. But you see my right arm is on top, so I know which arm is on top. So whether you have eagle arms or you're hugging yourself, you're going to inhale, little back bend, elbows to the sky, and exhale, you're rounding in. Really pressing your back towards the back of the chair. Really stretch out that lower back. Inhale, elbows to the sky. Exhale, round in, really pressing your lower back towards the back of the chair. You might be pressing into the earth to give yourself a little more ability to give tension on that lower back. 
Inhale, press your elbows to the sky. Exhale, round in. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, elbows to the sky, free your hands. Make that yoga fist, bring that thumb inside, loosely wrap your fingers around your thumb, and then circle your wrist, big circles, as you bring your hands and your arms slowly down to the side. And then let's start with the other side. So right arm is up, palm facing up, left arm is bent. Take that left elbow, put it in your right elbow, Wrap your arms together, or now you can see my left arm is on top, so I'm hugging myself this way with my left arm. Elbows up to the sky, little back bend. Inhale, I'm sorry, exhale, round in. Really press into the earth, press your back towards the back of your chair. Inhale, elbows to the sky, little back bend. You should feel a nice stretch along the front of your body. Exhale. Round in, press into your feet, press your back towards the back of your chair. Inhale, elbows to the sky. Really shine that heart, exhale. Press your back towards the back of the chair. Inhale, elbows to the sky, little back bend. Exhale, round in. Inhale, elbows to the sky, free your arms. Make that yoga fist, thumb on the inside of your palm, loosely wrap your fingers around, and then circle your wrists as you slowly bring your arms down. And breathe. Now let's do a little just we're not moving our hips this time. We're going to take our hands underneath our thighs and drop our feet to stimulate the bottom of our feet. So we have all these meridians, all these nerves down there. We're just stimulating the bottom of our feet. You're not going very high when you drop them because you don't want, you're not trying to be cruel to your feet. You're just trying to, to wake them up a little bit. And then come back to center. And let's take this into tree pose. So tree pose in the chair, you can come up on your toes and bring your heel to the heel of your other leg. So you're on your toes. If you want to make it more challenging and you have blocks, you can come up on one block. If you have two blocks, you can come up on two blocks. So you decide where that right pose is for you. If you have a chair in front of you, you could put this foot on the chair if you want it. So it's up to you. So once we find tree pose, so your leg is open, core is engaged, we're sitting nice and tall. You're gonna inhale your arms up, those fingers are spreading and you're gonna wave the word tree. You decide, are you a weeping willow? We have somebody who likes to do this because he's a weeping willow. Are you a oak? Oaks are pretty stiff. Now maybe you can't you can't move as much. You're a little more like an oak. Are you a an aspen? They have those leaves that uh, are shivering and shimmering all the time. And you should feel your core. The muscles are moving from side to side because you, as you lean, you are allowing those muscles to stretch and contract. And then bring your arms down. Release your leg. Let's let the blood flow back into your hands. Maybe let's move our fingers as they're leaving, reaching towards the earth so that we get the blood back down towards them before we raise our branches again. And now let's switch sides. So you're going to take your left heel to your right leg. You could be on the earth. And once you find that right position for your feet, you're gonna get really tall through your torso. You're gonna raise your branches up to the sky. Let those fingers 
move and sparkle. And then again, we're leaning side to side. And go slowly and mindfully while you do this. Keep that core engaged. Decide what tree you are. And you might think about, oh, my, my branches are not upright branches. They're more of these kind of branches because that's, this is getting, my arms are getting tired up here. Or I'm a weeping willow. My branches may need to come a little lower right now because they're getting tired. So just be imaginative with this pose on where you are as a tree. Make sure you're breathing. And then you're gonna come back down. Lower your branches, release your roots, let your feet root back into the earth and breathe. <clears throat> And now let's stretch out the front of our thighs. So to do that, we're gonna to turn to the left in our chair. I like to pad my foot that goes straight back um, just because feet can be sensitive. Sometimes it's painful or if you have arthritis, it might be bothersome. So I'm turning to the left. I like to try to get my left thigh planted on the chair, my hip is still on the chair, and I'm gonna let this right knee drape towards the earth. If you have a block, sometimes it's nice to have that block. If you feel unbalanced, that block is, can be nice under your knee. And we just first let this muscle relax and stretch out because perhaps if we sit a lot, this muscle does not get a chance to stretch. And breathe. Now we're gonna think about, well, how much can I stretch this muscle? Can I reach back through my heel? Is this, can I do this? So maybe this is enough. So you decide how far back you can go with it. Is this too much? Once you find where you want that knee to be, well, you know what? Let's, let's keep our hands holding the chair and let's make this a dynamic movement. So if you're here, you're gonna reach back through your heel and then come back in. We're gonna reach back, hold it for one, two, three, four, and then release that knee back to your block or just back towards draining, uh, dripping towards the earth for one, two, three, four. Reach back for one, two, three, four, and then release the stretch. One, two, three, four. Reach back for one, two, three, four, reach, let it release towards the earth for one, two, three, four. One more time, reach back for one, two, three, four, and then reach towards the earth for one, two, three, four. Now let's bring our right knee to meet our left knee. We're still facing to the left side of our chair. I want you to think about getting really tall through your torso. So get really tall, engage that core, take a deep inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna to turn towards the back of your chair and use the chair back to help you with your twists. And I want you to think about on your inhale, you're gonna imagine yourself growing a little taller. And on your exhale, imagine yourself twisting a little more. And every inhale, just imagine, inhale, you're a little taller. Exhale, you're twisting a little more. Inhale, you're getting a little taller. Exhale, you're twisting a little more. And then you can release that pose. And then let's walk ourselves over to the right side. So we're gonna face sitting, facing to the right side of our chair. If you had any props down for your feet, you can move those. Again, be mindful when you're sitting on the chair. It's nice to have a lot of your thigh on this chair to support you. And you let this left hip is going to be a little bit off the chair. You're going to have that block if you have a block. It's kind of nice to have that there. Just for, especially when you're getting organized on how the right pose is for you. And then now you're here. You're feeling balanced and safe. You're feeling like, hey, I've got this pose. You're gonna stretch back as far as you can. 
through your heel. You're really reaching through your heel for one, two, three, four, and then you're letting that knee come back towards the earth for one, two, three, four, and then you're really reaching one, two, three, four, and then you're coming back to earth for one, two, three, four. You're reaching one, two, three, four, going back to earth for one, two, three, four. Now this is the last one, so make it the biggest reach you can for one, two, three, four, and come back to earth for one, two, three, four. Now bring your left leg to meet your right leg. You're still facing towards the right side of your chair. Now we're gonna do a twist to the other side. So you're gonna get really tall through your torso. Take a deep inhale and your exhale, you twist towards the back of your chair. And again, on every inhale, imagine you're getting a little taller. And on every exhale, imagine you're twisting a little more. Maybe you notice from side to side, your twists are a little different. And that's okay, because that's just all of our bodies are a little different from side to side. And breathe. <clears throat> and then release that pose and come back to center on your chair. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So we're going to get really tall. And we're going to, um, sometimes it's called number four, sometimes it's called gentleman's pose. We're going to draw our right knee in and take that right ankle over our left thigh. And once we get there, I like to pat my hip, try to help soothe it, get it to relax. You keep your foot flat sets up in the air. Once you think you've patted that hip enough, you get really tall through your torso with a flat back. You're leaning forward till you feel that stretch or opening in your hips. And then once you feel you've reached the point that's right for you, then you can let your head relax down, maybe rest your arms on this leg. And let's hold this for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the pose, bring yourself back up to seated. Give that knee a little hug, draw it in, squeeze it towards you. Release that foot towards the earth. And then let's go to the other side. Now, remember, if you can't cross your ankle or leg over, you can also keep that foot on the floor, um, leaning it to the side. So you decide what's right for you. So let's draw that left knee in, give it a little hug, left ankle over right knee. Again, if that's not possible, just let that leg drape, drape open and you're on the side of your left foot. I like to pat my hip to help relax these muscles and my hip that are get tense, they go, oh, wait, what are you doing there? So let's relax those muscles. Get really tall through your torso. You're gonna hinge forward at the hips till you find that right amount of tension or opening in that hip joint. You might feel a stretch in your thigh. Then let yourself round into it. And we'll hold this for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Take your hands to your thighs, press yourself back up to seated. Draw that left knee in, give it a little hug. Bring that left foot to the floor. And then let's just rock our knees in and out <clears throat> to help release any tension that we've built up in our hips. And breathe. Now let's work a little bit on our neck because our necks get really tight, our upper shoulders get tight. So what I want you to do is turn your chin towards your left and then tip your chin down towards your left shoulder. And you should feel you're feeling a stretch in your upper back, maybe in your neck here. If you want a little more stretch, you can extend your right arm out to the side and play with where do you feel a little more stretch. If you think you would like to get more stretch than that, you can bend that right elbow and bring it behind you. And breathe. Make sure you're breathing here. <clears throat> Release your arm position if you have one. Bring your chin back to center. Come back up and then let's switch sides. So you're gonna turn your chin towards the right and then to look towards your right shoulder. You should feel a nice stretch. This may be enough for you. If you want more, you can extend that left arm. You might feel a little more stretch. If you wanna try something more than that, you can take your left arm behind you. Make sure you're breathing. <clears throat> Bring a little smile to your face. You can release any arm position you have. Bring your chin back up to center, look forward. And now let's take our chin. We're gonna elevate it slightly. I don't want you going as far back as you can, just elevate it slightly. Eyes are gazing to the sky. Make sure you're breathing. Bring your chin back to center. Now let's take your chin towards your chest, really stretch out the back of your neck. Just feel the weight of your head pulling forward as you, the back of your neck is stretching. You might feel some stretching in your upper back <clears throat> and breathe. Bring your chin back up to center. Now let's turn to the right, look to the right. Again, if you wanna see if you can get some more stretch, you might try extending that left arm or bringing the left arm behind you. Release that arm, look forward. Then let's take our chin towards the left. You might notice one side is stiffer than the other. That's for all of us. Maybe extend that right arm if that feels good. Maybe bring that right arm behind you. <clears throat> Notice those deep full breaths, even inhales and exhales. Bring your arm away, let that relax if you use an arm position. Bring your head back to center. Then let's take both hands, let's clasp our fingers. You're gonna press your fingers out towards so the palms are facing <clears throat> away from you. Bring your arms up overhead or as high as they'll go and let's arc over to the right. Come back to center, arc to the left. Come back to center, arc to the right. Come back to center, arc to the left. <clears throat> Come back to center, and one last time, arc to the right. Come back to center, arc to the left. Come back to center. Bring your palms back in front of you, release that uh, stretch, bring your hands down. 
get really tall through your body. We're going to do a child's pose in our chair. This should hopefully stretch out your lower back. Now, if folding forward too far is uncomfortable, if you have a blanket or a pillow or something, you can also use that to bring you to a higher position if going all the way down to your thighs is uh, a challenge and, and not comfortable. We don't want pain. We don't want it to be uncomfortable. We want a little stretch, but not discomfort or pain. So you get really tall through your torso if you need a prop. And if you don't, you know, you can always also use your block if you have a block right by you. So tall through your torso, you're hinging at the hips, coming forward, resting your torso and your thighs, let your head drape down and breathe. And while you're here, notice is your crown facing towards the earth? See if you can really relax your neck fully so that it just releases. Make sure your hands are grounding onto either your feet or your thighs or hanging onto something. We don't want them just loose in the air. And then notice if you have any tension in your, around your eyes. See if you can relax that. Any tension in your jaw. Bring a little smile to your face. That also helps to release any tension you might have in your face. And just breathe. Listen to the sound of your breath as you're reaching, as the crown of your head reaches towards the earth. Make sure your breath is even. Bring your hands to your knees. Engage your core with a flat back. Press yourself back up to seated. <clears throat> and then let's take our left leg and cross it over our right. And we're going to take our right arm <clears throat> to the outside of our left leg. And we're going to take our left arm behind us for a twist. So your left arm is pressing against this leg to help give you a little more twist. And breathe. And as you're looking over your left shoulder, Bring your head back to center, and then let's look over the right side. The scalps give a little movement to your neck. Then let's come back to center. Look over the left. Come back to center, look towards the right. Come back to center, look towards the left. Then release the twist. And we're gonna switch sides. So you take your right leg over your left leg. So, and then take your left arm across over your right leg so that you're using that as a lever to help you with a twist. Right arm behind you, hanging onto the chair. Make sure you're breathing. You're looking over the right side. Now let's bring your head to center and look to the left. And bring your head to center and look to the right. Head to center, look towards the left. Head to center, look to the right. Head to center, look to the left. 
Head to center, look to the right. And then release that twist and cross your legs. And then let's give ourselves a little facial massage. <clears throat> so we're gonna take our fingers, your fingers are wide, and you're gonna place them on your scalp. And you're not rubbing this way. What you're doing is pressing into the scalp and trying to um, move your scalp. So my fingers aren't rubbing in the scalp. My hair is not gonna get messed up. I'm trying to move the scalp against my skull skull bone. So you're going to start at the root of, or the top of your head and you go back and forth a little bit, left and right a little bit, then move your fingers. You can maybe even just do little, uh, try to do make little circles with them, but not, you're not moving. The fingers are still, you're trying to circle the scalp, move towards the back of your scalp. You'll be surprised at how relaxed you feel through your face once you do this. And then come down lower on the back of your scalp. You might find a spot that you really like. Oh, make sure you get over your ears. Make sure you get down close to your ears. We do hold a lot of tension in our face and in our scalp. So just move all around. And then we're gonna come into our face. So you're gonna go onto your forehead, along the sides by your eyes, along your temples, the occipital bone underneath your eyes, maybe onto the bridge of your nose. Don't cut off your breathing, it becomes hard to do your nostrils. You're gonna go on your cheeks, along your jawline, You might do a little bit on your neck and the back. And then when you think you've had enough, bring yourself to a comfortable position for our final pose of Shavasana. I always, my body's warm. Sometimes I like to cover it up just to not cool off so fast. Make sure you're comfortable resting against the back of your chair or if you're on the floor. Make yourself comfortable on the floor and close your eyes. Take rest, take rest. And while you're here, imagine that you're somewhere in the forest and it's a beautiful day. The temperature is just perfect for you. There's a light breeze. You can smell the trees the pines, maybe there's water near you and you can smell the lake or the ocean. And you might hear birds twittering. You can hear the leaves rustling. And feel your body just relax into the earth. Feel the weight of your body as it rests against the earth or on your chair. And now imagine your body is really light and feel the weight of that body just lifting as your body gets lighter and lighter. And you might feel the sun coming through the leaves of the tree. So it's not too hot, but it's just right. It just brings enough warmth. Take rest, take rest. And now you start to waken moving your fingers and your toes, maybe circling your wrists, maybe your ankles. Open your eyes, sit upright in your chair or if you're on the earth, you can stay laying or you can sit upright. Then let's reach our arms up overhead, deep inhale through our nose, loud exhale through our mouth. <sighs> 
Bring your palms together. Thread them down through heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today and sharing that beautiful practice you each have. The light in me honors and reflects the light that shines so bright in each of you. Namaste.